Hey guys, this is Eli from Touch Arcade, and what you're looking at here is Super Mario 64, or the first level anyway, running on an iPhone 6. Um, now there's no funny business here, this is a uh, real deal iPhone 6, nothing weird going on here. Um, the story behind this is actually, uh, it started with Super Character Controller, which a guy named... Um, Eric Royston Ross created, and then using his super character controller uh, for Unity, he built this fun little project, which is the very first level of Super Mario 64. Um, so as you can see here, like everything's been uh, upscaled and everything like that, so it looks amazing running on the iPhone. And um, on my iPhone 6, it runs at a solid 60 frames a second and just looks nuts. Um, a developer friend of mine take the existing Unity project and uh, add virtual controls, like really basic virtual controls. So basically all I can do is jump around uh, and run around and stuff, but it works really well. And um, I mean, as far as the proof of concept is concerned, it's amazing. And hopefully something like this is what Nintendo is hoping to bring uh, to the iPhone, but of course we'll see on that. So we don't have any camera controls or anything like that, so the camera is kind of locked in this particular position, at least on the iPhone version. Um, and again, this just because this build uh, was thrown together in a couple hours this afternoon, so uh, nothing too insane going on. But you can see all the animations are there, and. Um, Something like that. So I guess if you were wondering whether or not Super Mario 64 could run on the iPhone and look amazing, the answer is yes. The blocks don't work. Come on. Let's try to hug the wall here and see if. Uh, Oh no, I died. You can die in this tech demo. Alright, well, either way. <laughs> oh no! Ugh. This is kind of difficult to play when you can't change the camera. Around. I don't remember this level as well as I thought I did. All right, we'll do one more try. Yeah. 
So far, so good. Yeah, you made it to the top. And it looks like there's really nothing that happens after that, so uh, we'll just run around a little bit more here and see what we can interact with. So the developer of this doesn't really plan on doing anything with it other than just showing off uh, what he can do with the little tool that he made. Um, so don't expect anything more than that, but this just serves as a really awesome proof of concept that um, you know, these, these kind of classic games can be updated to run on the iPhone and look great in the process. So um, it seems unlikely, but hopefully the powers that be at Nintendo and stuff like that see something like this in, in action. And, to do something about it, but don't hold your breath. <laughs>